Excuse my voice and my stuffy nose. I'm only just getting over being sick once again. Today I am trying out IKEA the game. This game is actually called Assemble with Care and it came out in 2020, but apparently the heart of this game is in the story that goes along with the gameplay. These are a couple of the Steam reviews that I saw. Turns out the real things we were fixing were the relationships we found along the way. And then the other review I saw, why am I crying? I just wanted to build a Walkman. So I don't know if the Walkman level is going to be particularly emotional, we'll see. <laughs> this game doesn't have a menu, we just straight into it. The old school Walkman, oh this is satisfying. I can press all the buttons. Okay, we're going to put Maria's mix in. What is it? Oh! <laughs> That's cool. Oh, we're doing it bit by bit. Oh, they go in here, they go in here. The old school headphones. This game is bless paid with sound. We have our sound. Press play. I like it. New chapter added. Begin. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. This art style is so pretty. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I Bella felt Riva. every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. Is Bellariva a real place? Because I like the name, Bellariva. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. I love the voice actor as well. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. It's gonna be a I've job. been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. I wish I knew how to fix all those things. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. Ooh, unpack. Wait, this is the coffee is my menu? Oh, the cup of coffee is the menu. Oh, it's like taking a break. <gasps> it's a pause. The coffee is a pause. Wow. Okay, that is like, I love that. I love that they've integrated the menu into the game levels. I'd be interested to see if this just continues to be a cup of coffee in all the scenes. That's so cool. I love that. I love that we just recently played a little to the left and now we're playing something that feels very similar already even though I haven't done anything yet. I have my suitcase. Oh I put it here. Click on the class to open them. My Is this passport. a passport? Oh not many blank pages left now. Gonna need a new passport soon. Some glasses. I these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. Love it. Are these earrings? No? I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. <laughs> and a hairbrush? Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical and stylish. She has a story for everything. What is this? The tools of my trade. Uh, no hope of restoring things without these. It's also locked. My clothes. My favorite overalls. These will never go out of style. A picture? Is that me in my workshop? Oh, we don't have a story about that one. Disposable camera. Close-ups of my fingers with this. <laughs> she can fix things, but she can't take photos. Maria's restoration. These out once I'm settled in. Fingers crossed, they get me some work. Also, she just travels around handing out flyers to get work. Okay. We completed the suitcase. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. I love a food festival, yes. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there beyond the four walls of our antique store that I had to be a part of. Right, the parents own, okay, this is how we got started. The parents own an antique store and we're branching out into the world. 
I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl and a voice she was longing to hear. Are you fixing a toy? <gasps> oh, look at all our levels. How, can I see how many there are? 13, four, 13 and a star. 13 levels and a star. Okay, let's get fixing things. So we've done our arrival. Oh, we're doing a radio. Lullaby. It was my first morning in Bella Riva and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town, its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? Oh, that's so cute. I love the boys acting in this game. It's amazing. It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. I feel like the voice acting just like adds so much because they could have just had this text for you to read, but it just like creates the story. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? I will try. I will try. <gasps> okay, we got a coffee menu. Love it. I guess we just, we start with this. Oh, oh, oh my god. What is the metal thing in the way that she's talking? Ah, how do I stop rotating? <laughs> okay, there we go. She said there's a metal thing in the way. I don't see the issue. Um, okay, we need batteries, I guess, because we've got batteries sitting here. Unscrew. <gasps> oh, you even control the screw. Take this off. Aha, those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. Okay, I don't think you need to be super qualified to change batteries, but we'll see how complicated these things get. One battery, two batteries. Oh, the screw even went in the little pot over here. Okay, put this back on. Screw. All right. The batteries are in. We have power. Oh, I keep forgetting to like click off so it's stops rotating. Oh no, I want this. Oh, wait, no, I need to fix the tape. Okay, how do I put this down? Go over there. Classic, we've got to wind up the tape. Why did you do that? It fixed the tape, Izzy. <laughs> you will see. Will you dream a dream for me? If I sit by your side. <gasps> Is that a recording of her mum? Oh my god, that's so cute. You, even though we both that know that so cute. we must say good night, good night, my darling. When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. It's my mom. She. <gasps> no, I thought that when Izzy she started singing, I was like, no, her mom's not here. Silence, a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. Oh my god, that's when so sad. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a <laughs> stick gum. of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. I'll take it. I'll take a stick of gum of, as payment. <laughs> I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. God, even the background sound is so good. Sound editing. It's amazing. I keep saying it, but it's literally so amazing. The part I wouldn't be able to fix. Oh my god, don't say that. It's our job to fix things. 
Okay, even that level was already sad. It can't get sadder, surely. My first repair complete. I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. Wait, is his... is his dad? I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Oh. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Oh my god, he like wants to pay us for the work. We barely- we changed batteries and wound up a tape. It, <laughs> do we really need to be paid for that? Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least. Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. Oh no. It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel and... Do you think you can salvage it? Oh, yes. I think I can. It's like a puzzle. Okay, we have the base. Will uh, you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Okay, sir. You don't really need to be picky when this is what you have. You can't, It's currently in pieces. I think anything more than this is would be best. Okay, let's put some glue. Ah, I put glue everywhere. And then we stick that on. Can we see the No, okay, it's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna fix my problems I made with the glue. Um, I need a leg. Is this a leg? Yes. Okay, let's put some more glue on. We're not very good at using glue. We stick a leg. Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. <laughs> Alright, then a body. A little bit more glue. Can never use too much glue. <laughs> And this arm? Wait, why does it have two? Oh, it was just sitting with. I thought we had two left arms then. Okay, so a little bit more glue on here. Excellent. So far, I feel like I'm doing jobs that people. <gasps> There's glue on the outside. No. Hopefully, that fixes when I put this on. So far, I feel like I'm doing jobs that people could do themselves at home. Why would this stay so I could glue the top? Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Trust me, it's gonna stay. Thank you, Maria. It looks as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. How sad. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait, stood proudly. Oh, don't break that. <laughs> so he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. They must both miss her so much. Oh my god. Sorry. I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again? When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy. To avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. I don't understand why they didn't want her to go away so badly. Did she go that far? Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. Me too. My second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I stopped, breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. I can picture it in my mind. <laughs> I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria? Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. Perfect. Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. A 
feel like she just roasted this cafe owner in her cafe. It's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some uh, seasoning tips, but it won't connect. What does she actually want to call her sister for? Because I feel like it's not seasoning tips. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? I'll check it out. Ooh. Oh, we're replacing like a whole board. Oh, this looks like more complicated than before. All right. Phone. All right, we're going to unscrew the bottom. Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. Ob obviously. I definitely didn't assume that you were running a unsuccessful business. Okay, remove the bed. Oh, oh. You can fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. Okay, well just, well just give me a s- oh my god we're pulling everything apart. Just let me, let me figure it out. Okay. Alright, we need to unscrew this as well. Oh god, so many pieces. Okay, we have found the issue. Oh, I didn't want to pull that out, I'm trying to These rotate. connections aren't quite right. I should check the wiring. We're checking the wiring. We need to replace the board. That's that's burnt out. All right. So this to there. New cable. Though I don't know how this phone was missing a cable inside, but somehow. Looks like this new circuit board is all hooked up. Oh, and the bell is broken. Oh, I have to unscrew that. Unscrew that over there. This is so satisfying. All right, now we can start screwing things back together. I hope all the screws are the same. Because <laughs> we've just put them all in the same bowl. And then this goes back on. Looks like something is still missing. Wait, I'm missing something? What did I miss? Just putting this in? Is it, is it okay now? I think it was just the receiver. Did I fix it? Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> I was like, don't tell me I have to open it up again. Everdial rotary phone. Complete. When I handed the phone back to Carmen, she seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. She doesn't want to call her sister. She broke it. That's why the that's why the Y was missing inside. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? Nope, it's ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. What did she think I did to it? That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. <laughs> and the rent and the suppliers. Oh dear. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. I'm not making any money. Well, I think the mayor paid me, but I'm just getting paid in gum and coffees. I sat at one of the empty tables while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. <gasps> we get the tea, we get to listen in. What's happening? Hello, how's my favorite sister doing today? As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. Ooh, what's happening? I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. Money problems. You don't need to be here though. Can't you just put the check in the post? Oh, wait, what? So she doesn't like her sister, but she's asking her sister for money? When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee her hands trembling. Sorry about that. Uh, my sister's decided to fly in for a visit. <sighs> oh god, I have to get ready. Actually, I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? Okay, can you not pay me in coffee though? <laughs> can I get paid in cash? Ooh, a camera. The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. Oh, now I'm helping set up a cafe. Do I get a job here? I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. I am becoming popular. Curious, I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. I knocked. 
Are you here about the camera? It's about time. Oh, well, I'll just leave then if you're gonna have an attitude like that. <laughs> the woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to fix things. I'd use the that, of course, but... This is the sister! Oh, no wonder they have issues. <laughs> this is the sister. They're like so different. Okay. So this was Carmen's sister? Right. The two of them couldn't have been more different. Exactly. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. The viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. Bitch, I'm about to charge you double for your attitude. I'll fix the camera, but you're paying for it. <laughs> oh, oh, I've got, oh god, I've got instructions. Okay, uh, okay, so the mirror's probably just not at the right. Oh wait, the mirror's here. The mirror's not even in the camera. I have found the problem. Oh, you take the look. Take the lens off. Ah, oh, I found the problem. The mirror inside is broken. Do I need to unscrew everything? Okay. I don't suppose you fixed anything this valuable before. The attitude on her. What the heck? I'm about to throw this camera. <laughs> there. All right. If I use the screwdriver. I could adjust the angle of the mirror. Or we could just leave it so she doesn't have a camera. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. Now the viewfinder should be working. Alright, now the front's back on. Put the lens back in. So Still a few parts missing. I assume that they she wants us to put new roll in for her. There you go, ma'am. Double charge for that. Ooh, I like that we can rotate. I didn't realize we could rotate it after we'd finish it. That's pretty cool. We could check out the object. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition. The first of its kind. It cost me three months salary. But... It was worth it. And you somehow broke the internal mirror, ma'am. Did you drop it? I had no idea what three months salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. It was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? Ooh, could, can she though? Can she? <laughs> Does she actually not have any money? She took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. Thank you. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. God, she's so judgy. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. Yes, why are you even here? Go home. <laughs> I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she thinks I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I hoped Carmen was ready. I hope so too. Ooh, we're gonna fix her cafe sign. Is this the main storyline? Are we just fixing her, helping her fix up the cafe? Riva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside, I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. Maria! Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it! Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. Trying to live up to the standards of someone like Helena seemed like an impossible task. I would not even bother. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Carmen led me to a back room, where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but I'm hopeless with electronics. So there was supposed to be a sign outside. This might explain the lack of customers. 
I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here. Can you give it a try? I will see what I can do. Okay. This looks like the baseboard. Okay, maybe we take the back off. Oh. Alright. We revealed something. I don't know why we have so many cables though. Okay. I was trying to put this on here. No? Oh, I need some glue maybe. Okay, hold on. We're gonna put a bunch of glue down. Should be enough. <laughs> okay, there we go. Alright, now we have power. So, cable to power. Alright. Ooh. Why did the lights go out? I think the whole thing is supposed to light up. Okay, I got that. I was just testing out the button, you know? We gotta put these bits on. So what are my other cables for? Okay, we can test it out. Uh, oh, it works! I don't know, it's a bit... Uh, flat. Maybe if it flashes it'll really catch people's eye. Okay, oh, uh, great <laughs> idea. I think I have a spare part that could do that. Okay, that's what this was. That's what the other cables are for. I didn't have that part. Alright, more glue. More glue. Okay, now it's gonna flash, so I assume we power this. This to flash? Power? I don't know, I kind of like that less, but what the mm, customer wants. It still needs something else. Maybe we can add one of these. Okay. Okay. Which one? What do we want the cafe to be about? Ice cream, martinis, or pizza? Also, where did she get these from? These little near She just had them in a drawer somewhere? Um, okay. So, it's gonna be a food festival. Why don't we go, like, a little fancy? We'll do, like, Carmen's is fancy martini. I don't know how to add this. Oh, I need to add this first. Okay, glue. Glue, 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 glue. We stick this in. Okay, now it has a spot. Martinis. Feels fancy. And then... Now how does this work? This will go to there. And then we add a cable to here, to there. Power. Beautiful. It works! I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set. Alright, I hope you like it. Complete. The sign fixed. We had it outside and mounted it carefully over the cafe door. Oh, but it was meant to have an ice cream. I chose a martini glass. <laughs> oh, that's perfect, Maria. It looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so simple. Oh, I can't believe I might have to give it all up. I hope I've done enough. The smile froze on her face as she spotted something over my shoulder. I turned to see. So sister, a sister has arrived. Of course, my sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. For better or worse, Helena had arrived. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. Ah, oh, I just made that sign. <laughs> and with that, she disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with her. <gasps> Ooh, it's like a Game Boy thing. It was the day before the festival and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the cool quiet of his and Izzy's seafront house. Oh, he's got another I job for me. I reached their front door when I heard someone calling me. Maria, I need your help. Quickly, it's top secret. Oh, I'm about to get paid in gum again. 
It was Izzy. Peeking out from the side of the house, she beckoned for me to follow her. She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden overflowing with flowers of every color. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air and crawled through the gap and into the playhouse. I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. On the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. I uh, had an accident. I didn't do it on purpose or anything, but uh, it won't turn on anymore. Can you fix it for me? Are we just... are we replacing batteries again? <laughs> oh, no, no battery. Oh, she broke the screen. What is she doing? The buttons are broken. Why does it sound so scary? It wasn't like that before. I think you stepped on it or something. Okay, there's a battery. Aha, there we go. Got the back off. Oh god, what is happening? Okay, the sound chip is fried. Remove that. Oh, I also have to replace the button. Okay. Broken A button. New A button. What is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the screen. Okay, so then... This goes back in. What is it? What is this sound chip? Why does this one have a red thing on it? Okay, hold on. I assume we have to use this one. And then... Reconnect it all. And I need to fix the screen. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's why. That's why we have the other music chip. Oh, I also need to replace the screen. There we go. Oh, with the other ones inside green? I think I put them back in the right spot. Okay, close that. Ooh. Where is the game? Oh, down the bottom. Like, <laughs> where is the game slot? What are we playing? Forest Adventure. Okay. I can play do that. Do grown-ups play games as well? Yes. They definitely do. Alright, you ready? It's working. Do we get to play it? Yes, let me play this game. Can you show me how to play? I tried before, but it was so hard. I got you. I got you. This is what we're here for. <gasps> oh my god, it's like old school Pokemon. Let's go. Okay, catch this Pokemon. Catch it. Oh, am I in a Pokemon battle? Oh, we're gonna take pictures of it. I see. Got it. It's Pokemon Snap! <laughs> That's what we play. Oh my god, it's so cute. Her toy fixed, I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge in a three-inch world of her own. Well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. Why would he think that? Because, uh... Well, I kind of dropped it. <laughs> really hard. hard. At the wall. At the wall. <laughs> she threw it at the wall. Izzy looked down, scuffing her shoes on the worn floor of the playhouse. My dad said I had to go to this stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress. No, I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants to see me unless it's for his job. I'm not going. He can't make me. With that, Izzy dove back through the rose bush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling too. How, why am I getting involved in everyone's problems? <laughs> I'm just getting involved in everyone's family issues. It made me think. 
Had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? <gasps> Self-reflection. <laughs> I was so focused on the adventures ahead of me. Maybe I didn't care enough about leaving them behind. I mean, she did have to leave home to learn the life lessons though, so... Is it all that bad? We have to fix, fix a watch? Leaving Izzy hiding in the garden, I walked around to the front of the house and rang the doorbell. Ah uh, yes, because uh, Joseph was the one who wanted me here in the first place. It was only then I noticed my favorite overalls covered in grass stains. I scrubbed desperately, but it was too late. Maria, what are you doing? What happened to your clothes? Let's not talk about that. I was uh, repairing a lawn mower. How unusual. Well, <laughs> do come in. The job I've got for you is a little more delicate. Well, I don't think repairing a lawnmower would be that unusual, would it? Totally embarrassed, I walked into an orderly room filled with papers and ledgers. So this was his office. You must be so busy getting ready for the festival. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. It's traditional for the mayor to judge food from every cafe and restaurant in town. <gasps> what about the cafe I've been helping? What if they win? I'll be declaring the best chef in Bella Riva by this time tomorrow. Speaking of which... He unclipped the watch from his wrist and very carefully handed it to me. I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my watch stopped working a while ago. Could you see if you can make it tick again? Let's do it. Okay, we got a new watch face. Oops. So let's remove that, I guess. Are you sure it will all fit back together? Yeah, I got it. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is screwed in or something. Teeny screws. Oh, is it from his wife? It says love always on the back. Oh my god, why is this game so sad? Okay, what is happening in here? Oh, that's just the gear. Oh! Ah, the main plate has completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. Oh my god. We just, we destroyed it. The cogs look good though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. Oh god. Now I have to figure out where the cogs go. Oh, I have to pull them off. Okay. First, I need to get all my cogs. New plate. Aha. There we go. Oh, more screws. Remove the glass. New glass. I've not gone a day without this watch since my wife gave it to me. Oh. Okay, watch face. Gears. Is it working? Um, okay, I don't think I fixed it. And I also, <laughs> I have also ended up with two screws here, which I don't think, you kind of don't want screws left over when you are redoing something. I don't know what this gear is meant to be used for. I don't know where it came from. But the clock is, it is not ticking. Do I need a screw in here? Oh, I needed to screw the, the, the watch face in place. Okay. Oh, the big gear is this side. Okay. Yep. 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 <laughs> I just left out a gear completely. Now it should work. Okay. I was wondering about that. Hey, it's working now. Okay. I hope you didn't see me like put it all together and undo it again. <laughs> hope he wasn't watching over my shoulder. I know what I'm doing, don't worry. It ticks. As I handed the watch back to Joseph, my fingers traced over the engraving on the back. I hoped fixing this was one small way I could help him move forward. 
I can't believe it's working, Maria. Thank you. My wife was a brilliant woman. Feeling this ticking on my wrist, it makes me feel like she's still here. Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. <laughs> Even with Isabel, I barely see her. And when I do, she acts like she hates me. You need to spend more time with your daughter. <laughs> Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was never done. Uh, sorry, Maria. I have to take this. I'll see you at the festival tomorrow. As I left, I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office, his watch glinting in the afternoon sun. I hoped its quiet ticking would at least bring him some peace during the busy days to come. What is this? Oh, a projector? This is cool. When my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see. Helena. Her again. <laughs> Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. I wondered why she was even here. We're having a clear out, or at least I am. Carmen's not helping, as usual. There's a market at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some money. I mean, that is one way to make some money. She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up one from the pile. Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Can you take a look? Sure. What is this? Oh, that's a globe. Okay. This looks pretty cool. Let's open it up. Okay, we got a broken bulb. That light bulb is completely smashed. Okay. I'll need to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. Redirect? Oh, with these mirrors, I see. Is that redirecting? Oh, typical. Carmen's even managed to get a slide stuck in here. Did she? Oh yeah, I see it. Okay, I think I need another mirror in here. Oh, I put the light going the wrong way. Wait, how does the light go up to the... I'm so confused. Oh, there was a hole on the side. That's what I was gonna see. Okay. I was like, how does the light go up there? I was so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. <gasps> it's gonna be like a reflection of my own story leaving There's and my parents being sad. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. Oh, there's a clicker. I don't think it's broken, I just don't think it's plugged in. Looks like something is still missing. The slides? And then this goes back up. When we were younger, Carmen was always following me around. I suppose she looked up to me. A cool older sister. 
she used to ask me when I was coming home. But I was always too busy. I really like when after we fix something, we then get to use it or play with it. Or it's like interactive in some way. I like that. Transfixed. Staring at the two young sisters, the projector had brought glaringly into focus. I... I never meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe. Plus the money. <sighs> That's the problem. There is I no knew it. money. I knew it. I knew it. She doesn't have money. A few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I have nothing. I knew she had no money. As soon as I said she was staying in that hotel, I was like, there is no money. Common things, I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I can't. Not this time. You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so infuriating. How can I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? Looks like you got a new job at the cafe. <laughs> Helena fell silent, shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. I know I have to tell her the truth. It isn't fair. But I already lost everything else. <sighs> what if I lose her too? These people really be opening up to like a complete stranger, hey? Like just telling me their whole life story. <laughs> Boiling point. Oh, is this back at the cafe? The day of the festival finally came, and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a fork. The smell as I entered the main square was incredible. Each stall was selling food even more delicious than the last. The competition would start any minute. Most stall holders were waiting anxiously for the mayor to pay them a visit. All of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! Thank God you're here! Can I ask you the world's biggest favor? Helena was supposed to help me run the stall today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't believe she lied to me! Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging, but I'm almost out of my special. She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Not on my day off. <laughs> Working on the day off. I have a stove ready to build and everything. Can you set it up and make me a spare batch? Set up a stove? Okay. Oh, that's a pot. I love that we have instructions, but they don't really say anything, but it shows it what it looks like, so I guess that helps. All right, so we've got a, a base, and then we have, oh, I don't know what we have. <laughs> this thing, I think. Why is there a leaf here? I'm not sure. That's just part of the day. Oh, Carmen's Wild Veggie Soup Ingredients. One pint of stock, a quarter stick of half of half a carrot? Three broccoli florets, handful of chopped tomatoes, three wild mushrooms, plenty of... I don't know what that last one says. Okay, uh, then this handle thing goes in here. And then these three things. Oh dear. And then I think this is the burner part. It all fits. Now Got to it. like the gas. Uh, matches? Oh, I even have to undo the matchbox? Which Hold on. We're gonna turn the gas on first. How do I... How do I light the match? The gas is leaking out! <laughs> How do I light the match? Oh, I just had to do it quickly. Okay, we just let so much gas go out. But there we go. And then a pot. Alright. One pint of stock. This? There we go. Broth. I think that pot is really boiling now. Smells great if I say so myself. We might win the competition. Here are the ingredients that Carmen's given me. 
What to add first? Oh, we get to cook it as well. Okay, one. Okay, I guess that was the stock. One quarter stick of half. What? One quarter stick of half a carrot. So an eighth of a carrot. Is this too much carrot? Oh, it's one quarter stick of butter. I think. It's a completely different line. I thought it was saying <laughs> a quarter stick of half a carrot. Okay, then half a carrot. All right. I'm just putting it all in. I don't know. Three broccoli florets. Okay, so three of these. That looks good. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve. It's not ready yet. I think I put too much carrot in. Anyway, is it two or three? Okay, I think it's three bro three broccoli. Handful of chopped tomatoes. Um, not the big tomato. There we go. Three wild mushrooms. That's a half. That's one. One and a half. Two. Two and a half. Three. And then plenty of... What does that say? I have no idea. Oh, her recipe is a bit smudged. Never mind. I'm sure whatever I put in will be fine. Okay, whatever I put in will be fine, because I have no idea what that last thing says. I think it looks like it says liquor. Plenty of liquor to the broth, but I, Hmm. It doesn't say to put onion in. Alright, well, I think it's ready. Four season soup. I think I missed a complete ingredient. My part done, Carmen took over and added the finishing touches. It was just in time, and a moment later, Joseph arrived with Izzy in tow. Carmen anxiously handed them both a serving. That was so tasty. Can I have some more, please? That's a good sign. She's asking for more. Well, you've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. We have a few more meals to taste, but so far you are one of the best. Good luck. Ooh, top three placement. Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. Maybe the festival was doing them some good after all. Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see this. She's so convinced I'll never succeed at anything. She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it. Yes, I, I, know, I know, I know. Even when I was a kid, she pushed me when no one else did. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then, I've asked so much of her over the years. I never stopped to think how much she actually had to give. Wait, so does she know that her sister doesn't have money now? Is that what she's like annoyed about the lying? Oh, we don't have many levels left. We're almost at the end. Ooh, harmony. The festival finished. I only had one day left before I had to catch my train and leave Bella Riva behind. Oh, wait, so I was only leaving on a holiday. Wait, so I'm going back to my parents. I don't know what they were annoyed about me leaving for, if I was just going on like a trip. I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. So that evening, she still I has my a way sign. to the cafe. It was unrecognizable. She'd done it. Best food in Bella Riva. Half the town was outside waiting to see what the fuss was about. Maria, Maria, my favorite sous chef, come on through. It was Carmen acting every inch the successful cafe owner she deserved to be. Even Helena was there, serving the coffee. Yes, yeah, she got a job this at the cafe. This was the last place <laughs> I expected to see her after yesterday's drama. I love it. Carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs, where she brought out an old record player. I found out where Helena was on the day of the festival. She was selling her camera to clear the cafe's <gasps> debts. Oh, that's so sweet of her. But then she didn't have much left for herself. So... I've asked her to come and stay with me for a while. We have a lot of catching up to do. I wanted to give her this to cheer her up. We listened to it all the time when we were kids. Do you think it has one last tune in it? We shall find out. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn this on. I don't think it's going to be great. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. Turn that off. Protect that. I don't have a screwdriver, so how does it open up? Oh, it just pops off. Here's oh. the problem. 
This wiring isn't connected properly. Okay. Volume up to volume up. All right, that's, that's the speed it. dial connected. Now we should be able to change it. I think that should do it. This record should play beautifully. Um, not without this in it, it shouldn't. <laughs> oh wait, does that change something inside? No, I don't see anything moving. Okay, put that back. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Hmm, it's spinning the wrong way. How can I get it to play in the right direction? It must be to do with the motor. Let's see if one of these spares can turn things around. Okay, why is the motor running in reverse? So it's going that way, and it needs to go the other way? Turn the volume up, I should be able to hear it now. I don't know which motor that we need. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker? The speaker looks like it's connected properly. Okay. It's playing in the right direction. Now it's working. It's turning at the correct speed. What will remain of the We did it. The sweetest word. The word oh. that's I can speed it up. It's like the chipmunk version of the song. We can turn it up. Where did you go? The record player's crackling tune must have caught Helena's ear as she appeared a few moments later. Is that my old record player? I can't believe you've kept it all these years, Carmen. Leaning over the music, they looked just like the young sisters the slide projector had preserved all these years. Inseparable once again. Carmen told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I loved that camera, but I love my sister more. Now it's her time to be the person she wants to be. Elena is slowly, very slowly redeeming herself <laughs> from the very start. I'm going to stay here with her for a while. Make up for lost time. Carmen and Helena's relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but they were both prepared to try. And to think, it had all started because of a call Carmen made about some seasoning tips. I guess in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken to my own parents in a year. I wanted to hear their voices more than anything. Oh, I haven't talked to them in a year. I thought we'd gone up for like a week. I thought we had just left and come to this town. But we've been traveling for longer. But the silence between us was so cavernous. I didn't know how I'd ever find the words to bridge it. Ooh, that looks interesting. Oh, this is gonna be about Izzy and her dad again. My final morning in Bella Riva, I received one last call out to Joseph and Izzy's house. I knew I had to pack, but I figured I could squeeze in one final job before I had to leave. When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse was already cleared. Inside, I could see Izzy happily testing out her screw driving skills on the back of her cassette deck. You've made quite the impression. Isabel, <laughs> Izzy, tells me she's going to be a repair woman like me. Oh, Aww, so cute. <laughs> I'm sure she could be anything she wanted if she put her mind to it. She could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so much fun in ages. I wanted to give her something before she starts to forget. Inside, the house was transformed, flooded with light and the sounds of the garden. It felt alive again. This would be my last repair in Bellariva, but it felt like it was the house that had really been restored. It's a music box. 
It used to play beautifully, but now when I wind it up, nothing happens. I'd love for Izzy to hear it sing again. Can you help? Oh, it must have been like from her mum or her mums or something. Okay. Do I need to unlock it? Oh. Need to unscrew. Oh, there's a bird in there. Wait, this is broken as well. The top part. Maria, could you add this family picture of us? I can change the picture. Oh, so cute. Okay, so I can do this first. Can I not? Oh, I need glue. Glue. I keep forgetting about the glue every time. So much glue. There we go. All right. Oh, I think I need to fix this. This mechanism is completely broken. Oh, the musical I'll need part. I'll take it all apart before I can fix it. Okay, that's a lot of pieces. So we put the new musical wheel in, and this went there, there we go, it goes in there, is this right? Oh, I have to put that back. goes in the middle though. It plays. Oh, this needs to come out of here, I think. Okay. Because I think the spur goes in here. I think that's everything back here. My wife used to <gasps> sing this song so to Izzy each night before bed. But I always work too late to join them. Will you dream a dream for me? Will I sit by your side and hold you so tight? Know that oh I will always love you, even though we both know that we must say goodnight. Is that the song from the tape as well at the beginning? I think it's the same song. I've missed so much already. I want to be the father my wife wanted me to be. I've ended up so much like my own father, working all the time. Izzy needs me more than that. Especially now it's just the two of us. My daughter comes first. Well, not until she gets bored of her stuffy old dad anyway. <laughs> the teen years. I'll never ever get bored of you, Dad. Izzy came running into the room where Joseph scooped her up and onto his shoulders. She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I'd never seen her look so happy. Thank you, Maria, for everything. The things you fixed for me. I'm so glad to have them back. Joseph was a good father, and I could tell he was determined to be an even better one. When it came down to it, that was all any of us wanted. A second chance to make something right. My time in Bellariva was almost over, but before I left, I knew there was something of my own I needed to fix. Am I gonna call my parents? Oh, I'm gonna pack up and go home. Okay. <laughs> We're not gonna call. We're actually gonna go there. My time in Bellariva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story whose ending I hadn't felt ready to write. The people I'd met, the items I'd restored, they taught me so much about what was really important. Pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed, I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop. The day I left. 
Afterwards, I was too ashamed to call them. To Wait, okay, I just ran away? A guilt <laughs> I've been carrying around every day since. No wonder they were annoyed. I thought, I thought they just didn't want me to go. I don't think I told them. It sounds like we just left. As I packed, I knew that it was up to me to find a way to lighten the load. Yes, because it sounds like you caused the problem. We get to repack our suitcase. Oh, oh, we have a few different things now. My clothes. Helena gave me these designer shirts. Not sure I'll pull them off as well as she does. Cute. My passport. My train ticket. I can't believe it's time to leave Bellariva behind. My Walkman. The soundtrack to my travels. I'll be listening to this on the journey. History of watches. Oh, I'm learning more about watches. Joseph's idea of light reading for the train. It does look thorough. <laughs> oh, I got the soup recipe, but I'm not sure what it says. The recipe for Carmen's special. I'm under strict instructions to guard it with my life. My parents would love Bellarima. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. Is that is that meant to be a parent or a sister? Like, it's kind of weird if I'm carrying around a picture of myself in a picture frame. I didn't think about that at the beginning. Izzy gave me this in exchange for my repair manual. She'll be a bro in no time. My suitcase was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bella Riva behind. But I hoped that, in my own small way, I'd made a difference. Helena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to overcome their differences. Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relationship with Izzy. Oh, everyone's having a happy ending. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. Maybe it was time I saw things through my parents' eyes. Do I get to see my parents? I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between us. But I finally felt ready to talk to them. I just didn't know if they would feel the same. Did I even remember their number? I wasn't sure until I reached for the phone and it all came flooding back. <gasps> oh my god, we get to tell the phone. Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you? It just ends like that. I love that the credits are also like the game, like you get to scroll through this. Production babies? Wait, is this somebody who had a child while they were making the game? Finish. Oh, we get an epilogue. Oh, the coffee machine. Dear Maria. Carmen here. Sorry I haven't written. The cafe's been absolutely manic since you left. Luckily, I have Helena here to help. You wouldn't recognize her. She's like a new woman. She's always running around, taking orders and making drinks. I even heard her compliment a customer on their outfit. Personally, I draw the line at fluorescent green bowling shirts, but <laughs> to their own. It certainly made the customer smile. She misses the city, though. Bellariva's many things, but it's definitely not as chic as she'd like. She said there was a coffee shop near her old apartment where they made coffee with a shape drawn on top. It got me thinking, I'm an award-winning chef. I can figure out how to put a leaf on a cappuccino. A bit of cosmopolitan coffee might be just what Helena needs. Of course, ordering a new coffee machine was the easy part. I wish you could have seen the mess I got into trying to put the thing together. Oh, do I get to put it together now? Oh, no. Okay, here's the machine. Why would the coffee machine not come with the computer board in I the machine? I saw Maria use her screwdriver a million times. Taking this apart will be easy. Hmm, I don't think so. Okay, got the cover off. Oh, God. These pipes look pretty simple. I should start with them. Yeah, we could start with the pipes. Okay, that's connected. Oh, I wish Maria was here. She'd know how to put these pipes that together. Going? Yeah, that's going the right way. Okay, and then... 
No, that has an extra pipe in it. How can there be so much steam? Ugh, I'm getting soaked! Why, why do we have the coffee machine on as we're trying to fix it? I feel like we're missing. Oh, there's these pipes here too. Okay, where does this thing go? And what is this? Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I <laughs> didn't see all these big parts up here and I'm like, how? How does this work? There we go, to Finally, get the pipes working. No more steam. I did it. Where does this board go? No idea. Oh, in the bottom. Interesting. Alright. Power to power. Coffee to... No, that's wrong. This one? Yep. And then steam, I think? Okay. Maybe this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Alright, now I do the bottom. It doesn't seem to work unless the circuit lights are all green. Circuit lights need to all be green. Those are all green. I don't have circuit lights at the bottom. Wait, there are more screws here. Hold on. I have just found another secret compartment. This is why it wasn't working. We don't have any cables in here. Okay, steam. Coffee. Power. Okay. Oh, that's... Oh, these two are red. Okay. So now it should work. If I bought a coffee machine like this, and I had to set it up like this, I'd be returning it. Alright, we have steam. We have coffee. And it's working, so we have power. Now I just need to screw everything back together. I think that's everything. Better test the buttons, just to make sure. How about next time we buy a coffee machine that comes assembled? <laughs> All done. Piece of cake. Time to make my first coffee, I think. Oh, I have to make coffee too. Okay. Uh, put that down. Coffee grounds. Cup. Coffee. Mm, smells delicious. There's nothing in the cup. <laughs> now to make it look magical. It's empty. The cup is empty. Oh, now there's magically coffee in there. <laughs> oh, I have to do the latte art. How do I do the... We do like a leaf. There we go. Circle. We could do like a heart. There we go. Mm, a perfect oh god, coffee. is that the pattern that All we're going with? All it needs with? is a saucer and a couple of Helena's favourite biscuits. That is not the art I wanted to create. We don't get much of a chance to create something because it disappears. Mm. <laughs> Let's just do like a squiggle. No better squiggle than that. I think this is the thing I've spent the most time on. Like a swell. Okay, that that's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> Biscuits. Okay, that latte art didn't turn out too bad in the end. <laughs> it was difficult, it was difficult. I was feeling more has-been than coffee queen by the time I'd made a drink fit for human consumption. It looked a bit, uh, mm, postmodern, but knowing Helena's refined tastes, I hoped she'd think it was intentional. Always the connoisseur. She didn't even bother to look at it at first. She was so busy wafting it under her nose. Steamed up her glasses, of course. How was she going to see my work of art through an eye full of fog? When she finally spotted it, though, she was totally impressed. Thank you. I spent some time making that latte art. <laughs> I'll admit, she spent several minutes trying to figure out exactly what it was I'd drawn. Just to squiggle. She squiggle. decided it was probably a horse. <laughs> well, what she doesn't know... Definitely her. didn't make a horse. <laughs> she was impressed enough to ask for another one. I guess I'll need to get some practice in. The whole thing was such hard work, Maria. I never realised how difficult it was, all that mechanical stuff. It made me realise how much I have to thank you for, so I wanted to say that now. Better latte than never! <laughs> <sighs> Hoping you're well. Your friend. Carl. That's the end. 
We have finished all the levels. And that is Assemble With Care. I had a lot of fun. The art style was gorgeous and the voice acting was amazing along with the sound editing of all the background noise. It really like completed the story, brought it all together. If you want to check out Assemble With Care for yourself, there will be a link to the Steam listing in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough and I'll catch you in the next one.